Hey, happy to be back. And so, hey, we haven't talked gold for a long time. We finally got some action inside the gold market last week. So let's talk nugget. Let's let's talk uh, bottom line, uh, the uh, the gold market in general. So talk to me about, you know, folks, when you go when you go over the direction, what, what they put up every night, which is pretty cool, as the where the flows are coming in and coming out of. So what did we see last week, Dave? Yeah, it's interesting. There's, uh, you you made a great note here in the uh, intro to the segment is that we haven't talked about gold miners, gold gold in a while because it just hasn't been that interesting from a trading perspective, especially where the dollar has been. Yes. Of course, a lot of that changed last week with the move in the rates market. It's been a very, very macro-driven market, as we know, and the macro move has been rates. Now, with, the, uh, with rates coming down, of course, uh, as there's been a bid back in treasuries, we saw gold miners get some action again. Um, uh, coming through really from the, the, the price of gold itself. What we did see is some really big uh, big volume in those funds that we hadn't seen in a while. I think as I've mentioned before in previous segments, much of the activity has really been in two areas in our lineup. On the semiconductor side, that's with Sox L, Sox S, and then on the biotech side, uh, Labu and Lab D. So it's good to see um, you know traders come back into the gold mining space. What's going to be interesting is as we head into the meat of earnings season here, we know some great beats from financials last week, is what is that going to mean for other segments in particular on the material side, uh, like gold miners? Yeah, there's no doubt. And, you know, what happens, of course, you get the nugget folks and then you get the J nug. And I know plenty of you folks like trading uh, the J nug also. And the J nug is basically the junior miners out here. Now, let's just uh, let's stay kind of on that theme, meaning on commodities, uh, nail. OK, you know, the, the bottom line, folks, is that, um, you know, you, when, we're, when we're talking commodities, when you're talking the, the price of lumber, uh, well, Direction has a, a, a nice ETF that is three times the bull and it's the symbol is nail, N-A-I-L. So talk to me about this, because, uh, you know, the bottom line, I know when you put this together, um, you know, you put it together at a great time, no doubt. Uh, but when you take a look at the aspect of. Uh, what's in here? These these stocks are moving, man. I mean, <laughs> yeah. No, you raise a good point, uh, Tom. Here, what's interesting? So, nail. Yep, it's uh, your your bull fund giving exposure to home builders, home construction stocks. And I think uh, again, if we think about commodities, what's going on in lumber, both in the cash market and then in the futures market, has really been uh, uh, pretty crazy of late. As there's been significant demand. The other thing here is that for years we know that there's been a glut of homes in the market coming out of the global financial crisis where there was such excess built. Now we're in an environment where actually there's significant demand for homes as maybe people are getting old, millennials are getting older. The median age of a home buyer in the US is now 36 years old, uh, which is a pretty bit crazy to think about it. So no longer are millennials uh, or even maybe to some extent Gen Z are just hanging out in their parents' basement uh, eating avocado toast, but they're they're building families. They're getting back to the market. That's driving up uh, the price uh, of those home building stocks uh, and, the, and the construction names uh, as people, whether they already own a home or they get a new home, they're doing remodels pretty significantly in a short period of time. So nail uh, is a fund if people aren't as familiar with, like the uh, like J Nug, uh, right? And Nugget itself, that people might want to, the traders might want to take a look at it to 